Hi, myself Ashok, representing Center for AI, Radhalakshmi Institute of Technology. We are doing different projects and running different types of training courses from our center. 18 faculty members are associated with this center and uh, taking care of all the activities. Along with this, 100 plus students of students are available in this cluster. Teams are formed in this corresponding center and they are all taking up with different projects with the association of faculty members. Do you want to see that? Here is a sample. The objective is to find the optimal path in a maze using search algorithms of AI. Here, we do a comparative study between two search algorithms in AI. One is the ASAR search algorithm and the other being Tabu search algorithm. Here I have implemented the program using Python in PyCharm. In this, we have three files. The first is for GUI. Second for solving the maze using A star search algorithm and the last for solving the maze using Tabo search algorithm. In the GUI Python file, we import TK inter for GUI and we have given difficulty level based on which we are going to solve the maze. Then we call the other two files for solving the problem. Here in a star python file a star algorithm is selected to solve this problem as it is an informed search algorithm in ai that uses cost function to determine its path where the cost function is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n where n represents that particular node g of n is the exact cost of the path from the starting node to the current node h of n represents the heuristic estimated cost from node n to the goal node now the heuristic estimate here is the manhattan distance from the present node to the goal node each node is considered as an element of an array where the array is a 2D representation of the entire maze. The data structure used for implementing the maze solver is priority queue. The reason for selecting priority queue is that we have to minimize the cost of traversal from the start node to the goal node. So the optimal path is obtained. In the program, we find the distance after which the G score and F score using these we find the path. Let's see it. Now in Tabu search algorithm, the reason for selecting Tabu search is that it is a meta heuristic search algorithm. Meta heuristic means a strategy used to guide and control the actual heuristic, but not getting captured in the local minima. As to get the optimal solution, we try to use the Tabu search. It is based on the implementation of the Tabu list which contains all the nodes visited along with their sub-nodes where the minimum cost producing node is selected. So let's see it.
as we run the program in the output as we click ok we are given the choice to select the difficulty now the medium difficulty is selected the a star path traverses as shown the total search length is 297 and the optimal search length is 63 this is the goal node and at the end is the starting node We use the process of backtracking as it is a combination of pure generate and test and the fraction of R consistency. It also validates the constraints considering the partial instantiation. Now we see the taboo search algorithms implementation. The total taboo search path length is 253 whereas the taboo path length is 131. When we do a comparative study between A star and taboo search algorithms, A star search algorithm had a total path length of 297 where it is reduced to 253 in taboo search algorithm. But the optimal solution obtained in A star algorithm is 63 whereas in taboo search it is 131. The percentage at which we get the optimal solution in A star is 75%. 79 percentage whereas in taboo search it is only 50 percentage so implementation of maze solver using a star search algorithm is better than taboo search algorithm the scope of improvement is that to improve the taboo path length so that both time and space required to search is reduced as the total path in taboo search length is less than a star search length Thank you all. Yes, I think you have witnessed the role of algorithm, how much powerful while it is playing with the computers, especially against the softwares. Students have developed algorithms such that with respect to gamification, that the algorithms are ready to play against the computers. So those powerful uh, A-star search and a turbo search are being demonstrated clearly through the games by Dinesh Kumar. Dinesh Kumar, that's a wonderful job. Now, not only on this type of uh, uh, solving the toughest uh, problems and uh, comparing the corresponding uh, similarities on these things, our members are also involved in ideation of the projects interlinked with the other fields. You want to see that? Yes, here is your presentation. Myself as Mohammed Navid Sharif and I'm from Rajalakshmi Institute of Technology. I'm a team member of Team Razor Code. So here my problem statement is making up the EHR, which is electrical healthcare record in a blockchain. So electrical healthcare record, nothing but which holds the medical records or the health records of a patient in a particular hospital. For example, if a patient gets admitted in Hospital A, the Hospital A makes the record of that patient, the hospital keeps it in its server, so that the record of the data will get to be accessed whenever the patient re-invites the hospital in the future. But the problem here is, if that same person goes to the Hospital B, and if that Hospital B needs to get that previous record of that same person, it's not really possible to ask from the Hospital A. So this is where the problem comes in and if that hospital uh, stores the data in an EHR forms, we cannot able to ensure its security and then also because of its centralized storage, the deletion of the data can also be occurred and then the, and there could be also a possibility of the security breach. So to overcome this problem, we are creating a decentralized EHR which is done using by the XDC network and we save the data on the IPFS which is interplanetary file system and this does nothing but it stores the data in these several nodes which is distributed manner so that if a person needs to get a data or if an hospital 
hospital needs to get a uh, patient's medical record from the another hospital, it can be accessed from anywhere around the world at any time. Through the maximum likelihood estimation in ML, we used to fetch the data of the prescription of the various diseases and the AI will be implemented so the AI will match the similar or most likely prescription and provides it so it can also be used as a supporting system. So this support system reduces the drastic time of the doctors as well as patients. So the tools which we use in this project are the React for the front end and Node.js for the back end and Truffle for the validity contracts, smart contracts and IPFS for the data storage and Docker for replicating. After the completion of this entire project, we will be building a supply chain which will be integrated in this platform so that you can use to track every medicine and drugs so there won't be any frauds so the frauds can be avoided and this is how far we are just going till now and thanks for making up the time and watching till the end and a great thanks from the team Razorfoot. It's an interesting thing right associated with the blockchain along with our ML algorithm that we can do wonderful things. Even we have teams working with the latest technologies for implementation. The projects are running in the production server, making it to be a real-time one. We are associated with the different clients through our Problem Box initiative from the Rajalakshmi Institute of Technology. So you can feel free to approach us, CFAI at ratchennai.edu.in, mobile number, 766-747-2476. So the college is located in the Bangalore Unamali Highway, Rajalakshmi Institute of Technology, Chennai 124. Thank you.